Yes, Steve and Kirsten, some people that we talked to who crossed the Mexican border today said they weren't surprised that the pandemic related asylum restrictions will remain in place here, though some we talked to said they don't mind that Title 42 will be extended because they think it should be with COVID safety. I think it should stay in place, not only because of the pandemic, but also I think it's important that we have some type of restrictions on people coming over. Roger Reeder and Annie Weaver from Idlewild just crossed the border after a dentist appointment in Tijuana. They think a judge's decision to keep in place the Title 42 law that restricts migrants from seeking asylum at the southern border is a good health and safety choice amid the pandemic. And 42 is at least a, a way to, to uh, to have some type of control. Immigrant rights advocates say not ending Title 42, as was originally planned on Monday, dashes any dreams for many in Mexico to safely cross. A lot of people had their hopes set on May 23rd, people who have been waiting here for at this point uh, months, if not years. In his ruling, a judge in Louisiana wrote that ending Title 42 would result in immediate and irreparable harm due to a projected increase in border crossings and overcrowded processing facilities, resulting in greater costs to provide health care and education. Migrants aren't necessarily bringing in or increasing the rate of infection for COVID-19. Pedro Rios, the director of American Friends Service Committee, says Title 42 is less about COVID and more about the U.S. government not following federal law and international obligations to honor the asylum process by allowing migrants to seek asylum, just as Ukrainian refugees did. The U.S. government is not supposed to place people seeking asylum in harm's way, and they do that when they return them to Mexico. Advocates against Title 42 say it is only going to increase unsafe illegal border crossings. They're doing that anyway. Yeah. It's happening anyway. Let's let them in in a safe, organized manner so they can appear before an asylum judge, because otherwise they're going to do the old way, which was jumping over the wall. People are dying. Children are being left out there by unethical smugglers. And that is chaos. The U.S. Justice Department says it plans to appeal this decision, adding the CDC has the authority to end Title 42. Pedro Rio say he and other organizers will be here at the border on Monday for a rally beginning at 11 a.m. on what would have been the Title 42 end date.